What's going on guys, your boy Will is coming through with another camera video. Um, this is the Viltrox EF-M2 II. Um, for those who don't know what the heck that is, it's just something that makes Micro Four Thirds cameras compatible with other lenses. So let's get right into it. This adapter is an alternative to the Metabones um, adapter, which goes for about 350, 400. You could probably get it cheaper on the used market. Um, as you can see, the build quality is, is not that bad. It's made out of aluminum and it has a one-fourth at the very bottom of it so you could mount like a tripod for additional support if you're using heavier lenses. This thing has a 0.71 times focal length multiplier. What that means is it makes your lens faster and what that means is it makes your lens able to take in a little bit more light. So in my case it makes the Sigma 1.8 able to go down to a f1.2 which is great so that noise that you may hear is the autofocus it is essentially hit or miss and as you can see I'm trying to make a movement to kick it back on but it's not there it goes there we go Wow come on there we go see so you be the judge See, it's hit or miss. I'm not sure if it, the lighting makes a difference or not, but it works sometimes, it doesn't work. So from the paper, back to the lens. Come on. Got the Lumix G85. It's probably the cheapest 4K camera you can get. They go for about 400, 450 on eBay. Right off the bat, connecting it, it's a really snug fit. Let's get the G85 attached to the Sigma. There it goes. These two make a great combination because the G85 has in-body stabilization, which works great with this. The 18-35 to doesn't have any stabilization, so it's a perfect balance. It's very top-heavy, as you can see there. Um, I'm not sure how much it weighs, but it is heavy if you're walking around for a bit with it. When in autofocus, the autofocusing is really loud. Um, as you see, I'm testing, but let's, let's take a listen. Listen how loud this is. I know it's loud. So for vlogging, I don't know if I can recommend this unless you're really good at focusing with the manual, but I, I, I wouldn't trust this. Here's a few more autofocus tests. Most creators that use this adapter probably use it in a manual setting anyway. Not bad. It's a darker background, not, not bad. They found me. You be the judge. So I do recommend this adapter if you have a Micro Four Thirds camera. It is essential if you're going to use any EF lenses that come from Canon. EFS lenses don't mount. I tried a couple and, and they just, they don't work. Here's the USB port for any like updates from the internet for firmware upgrades. That's the aperture adjuster right there. You can use that or you can use the camera. So I'd recommend this to anybody that has a Micro Four Thirds. As you can see, I was going crazy with trying to test um, the autofocus. Like I tried to test everything I could find. I mean, it works. Compared to the Metabones, it's worth it. So go ahead and thumbs up the video if you liked it. Go ahead and thumbs up the video if you didn't like it. Um, for all my camera nerds, I recommend it. For all my non-camera nerds, you're going to want one of these when you become a camera nerd. So, peace out.